Hello, I am back today with the new Queen collage plate set. So, you know, I've shown you a lot of MoYu London collage plates, and I've shown you some other uh, plates that have some areas of them that um, are incorporating the collage. This is the first set of plates that have, um, it's a, a set of standard kind of size and shape plates that are capturing the collage trend. I like this. Um, I think there are pluses and minuses to this. I think that this kind of a set is really good if the bigger collage sets kind of intimidate you a little bit and you'd like um, a kind of a gentler introduction into how to use collage plates. I think this really um, does that for you, but then I think what you what you lose over the bigger, like the MoYu London collage plates, is that uh, you don't get as much versatility and as many options out of them as you would otherwise in terms of design. Maybe you just want more basic designs that you can do with uh, collage plates, and then these would be a, a great option for you. Uh, you know, you know me, I am a, a nail stamping fanatic, so I want everything, and, and I think there's a lot of great stuff that can be done with these. Okay, so there's my kind of overall summary. Let me show you how they come. They come in this, which is an improvement, in my opinion, over the previous little um, leather storage kits that Queen makes, because before, the ones they had before, these would kind of swing out, and in my opinion, it's only a matter of time before those rip. These are firmly in there, and you slip the plates in just like that. Let me show you. Bloop. And they're two-sided, so bloop. So to me, and then it, it and then it snaps closed, and I think that that's a really cute, um, effective little storage system. They all come, I've already taken them off, but of course they all come with the blue film to keep this protected and um, comes off easily. You don't have to worry about that. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even have to really pick them like I normally do. These I just, I was able to just scroll them all off very easily. So let's take a look at each of the plates and I'll talk about, you know, what I think you can do with them. This is one of my favorites in the set, um, Queen 50. I love all the, I love any images that have words. And what I like about this in, in the collage um, style is first of all, the words get to be a little bit bigger so you can kind of see particular words or particular app parts of the words up and close and more personal. I love that I can get the feel of this plate on all of my nails, but use a different part of the image and different words on the image. So I don't have to use the same image over and over and over again. And um, I think that's one of the great things that you can do with a lot of the plates in this set. Here is Queen 51. The images here, you've got a sort of a dandelion, and the same thing like with the one before, you can um, get maybe a different type of, uh, a different part of the flower, so one without hearts, one with hearts on different nails without having to repeat the exact same image over and over again. Um, one of the things that you can do with this one is, you see it kind of goes from this dandelion kind of image into this more swirly flourish of sort of Victorian wallpapery kind of image. So you could do um, a transition manicure where you've got maybe this side of the plate represented on these two nails and then this side of the plate represented on these two nails. Maybe you pick one nail where you show the transition so that on your nail it, it, it smoothly, you can see it go flowing in from one to the other. That's one of the, the, one of the kinds of manicures that I really like in collage style plates that you can do. Um, this is more of a geometrical, and there are bold lines separating the different sections, unlike um, in this plate where it's more of a gradual transition. So you've got a different opportunity here. What you can do is you can easily do patchwork manicures that look like a patchwork quilt with things like this taking from each individual area. And if you're careful, of course, if you just want to use that as a background image, you can. Or if you just want to use that as a background image, you can. Uh, so you can, some, not every single one of the images here maybe is big enough for your nail, but some of them you still have that possibility. Um, this one, oil energy marketer, um, this is kind of like the other word plate. Uh, this is more of a political statement kind of word plate, but you basically could use it the same way. Um, here is a transition, another one of a transition where you could transition on a couple of your nails, um, or maybe even like maybe you just want to have this on your thumb and your like you want to have this on your thumb and your ring finger maybe and the rest you just want to have that so that it looks like you've got this whole cool design going over and you could do the same thing here with 
with this more it's almost like a honeycomb kind of look and then these flowers or you could even do a patchwork going across there so a lot of possibilities on that one this you could do a patchwork look or you could um, just use this as your typical standard um, uh, full nail image right there this has a more of a gentle transition so you can play with it that way from the different kinds of swirls although you do have some lines as well so it's kind of a softer gentler patchwork deal going on there and then of course you can use it as your background image this is a different patchwork style i love this like a um not yeah kind of cobblestone but like a brick road is more what i'm thinking of there and, and um uh, uh, what's that? What is that called when that pattern on clothes? I can't think of it. You guys will, you guys always know. When I can't think of something, you'll tell me. Um, kind of like raindrops or drops of fire. So another one that you can do in kind of a patchwork deal. All right. Queen 59. One of my favorites, you know, with the swirls and everything going into one another. So you can go from, you know, a, a more of a flower design into one that is more of a berry design into one that's more of just a uh, traditional um, flourish. You don't have to, you can just use each of these for your background just in and of itself. This, I think, I like how they've done this where it, it, instead of just a blocky um, patchwork effect, you can get a curved kind of archway patchwork effect. So you could have that going over, um, you know, your nail across. So you've got half of this going across and half of that going across your nail. Very cute, very cosmic. Uh, another, this one you can do patchwork, you can just use for your full images, butterflies, stars. Um, this is neat. It's like uh, a record with music coming off or um, you could also have that be kind of like a sun or a star and have the different, um, uh, this could be your rays coming off. So don't forget that you can combine these two. So you could do you could do this on one nail and have this coming off your other nails. So it doesn't have to necessarily be right close together. You can isolate the portions that you want. Um, this is just you know, a ton of cute little hearts and stars and um, kaleidoscopy kind of images. So you could, um, for me, I think what I would probably do with this is just have different portions of this plate on my different nails. Uh, another sort of lacy look one with lace and flowers that you can get a couple of different looks and then maybe a, a kind of a strip look here if you want to try to fit in like a couple of different strips across your nail or if you wanted to have it go kind of lengthwise like that. So some different possibilities there. This is one of the simpler ones um, and uh, probably my least favorite in the collection. I, I mean, I really like this image and I will be using it, so don't get me wrong. Uh, you will see me use this plate for sure. But I feel like, at least for my nails, this is a hard image to get on a nail. And it's a hard image for me to just take a part of it. So it's, it's also kind of hard for me. I feel like if I were to just take the side of that, it wouldn't necessarily look so much like a flower. So I feel like I wish that they had made it just maybe a little bit smaller but there's still beautiful things here and this is the only plate you know you've heard me say anything about in terms of I think it's going to be hard to use and that's just the flowers I think the rest is is there and beautiful A patchwork look here so you can um, this would be great if you're especially if you're a sewer you could even follow this up with little you know white polish like stitches there very cute here is, I love this one, with all of the different musical instruments. So you can isolate off the musical instruments you want um, or the parts of the musical instruments, especially like if you did like a saran wrap background in one or two different colors and then stamped some of this over it. That could be really, really neat. Um, another good one for a patchwork look, this one featuring hearts of different kinds. And um, you could, don't forget, I mean, you can just use that part right there on your nail if that's all you want to use. Uh, this is another one I have kind of the same um, issue with that I had with the with the other plate which is that I feel like this birdie here is just a little bit big um, to really be used super effectively but you could use a little side of his face or you could put him over too um, and I love these different 
the flowers and the different images going around here. So I think that, you know, while I wish they maybe had made the bird just a teeny bit smaller, I think that everything on there is really beautiful and it's a highly cute, usable plate. Um, oh my gosh, I love this one. You can just pull off her face and there's enough there where you can get a little bit of her hair. Then you could have her hair flowing across your fingers, um, your different nails. This could be beautiful looking like, um, you know, a breeze, something flying on the breeze, or waves of the ocean even. And of course, pretty flowers to put around. And I like this. I'm gonna try to use, find a way to get um, just this edging like over the top of my nail with the little background um, bits with the daisies and the dots under it. I think that's really cool. Uh, another beautiful um, patchwork that it, this could be so much fun if you put um, like a dot of different color polishes on each and then or like um, maybe like blue polish here and green polish there and, and scraped it so that you got um, you know you got mostly this in one color and mostly that in the other color that could be really cool um, all right queen 72 another flower and flourish and even though like this one maybe it's a little bit hard to use just all on its own although I think that it's kind of a cool image, just the inside of that flower on its own. There are other smaller flowers, so if you've got longer nails, then you can capture a lot of that. Awesome, but if not, then you've got some smaller flowers that are that are going to do you really good too, and get you a lot of different variety into a plate. So you could get a different flower on every nail with the pretty um, vines in the background. And then last but not least, we have Queen 73. And we can do a beautiful transition manicure with this from um, the flourishes here to sort of the leaves to back to like little um, swirly scrolls. Or you could pull off part of the rose, part of this rose, and then get the rest of these designs onto your different nails. So there's um, a couple of different things that you can do with this as well. All right, so I hope you can see that um, the, there are a lot of different possibilities in these plates. Don't go, well, there's no way I can fit, you know, the, all of that cool pattern and the rows, you know, both of those all onto, you know, one nail. Sure, you can't, but that's not what this is meant to. This is meant to, to help you design an entire manicure um, where each nail is a little bit different and uh, give you a little bit more creative flexibility for that. So you, you have a lot of the functionality of collage plates. Um, but they're a little bit easier to use and then the trade-off for that is maybe you don't get as many of the, the creative options as you do um, for every design the way that you would with a bigger collage plate. So I think for the, what you're getting and if you've been wanting to try the collage um, trend but you've been just a little bit afraid of those big, big plates that um, are a little bit intimidating, this is a great way to start playing around with these kinds of plates and with that trend and get your feet wet. So I will put um, stills of each of the plates up on my blog and then also in the meantime here it is with a standard Conad plate so you can see um, how big that flower is and how big the scroll work is compared to a typical Conan plate. And I will do a stamping test of some sort, either a full manicure or just test out some plates for you. And I will put that on the blog as well. Um, everything will be linked below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.